Welcome back, members of the Wolf Pack. It's your boy, Great Wolf, back with another episode of Rise of Ronan. This episode kind of started on its own. I teleported to the place where the next quest was at, and it automatically started off. And what it is was the drunk dude that we met in the last episode. He just asked me, he's like, hmm, haven't we met somewhere? Hmm, not the peaceful loving type, are you? Oh, from the pleasure district. <laughs> That's right. I remember those eyes. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. Ah. Had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, Who's this dude? Yes, and they ended up mm. getting soundly beaten by our friend here. To be honest, I might have struggled even stone cold sober. Your skill with the sword is quite something, but you seem to be self taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Ganzui here is off to do just that. Oh, what is dojo no busting? When it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> this accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country. <sighs> there he goes again. I'm going gambling. I've been not that short on coin of late. Where are your manners, Shinsaku? Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I okay, so we, we got a whole group of people. Scrapes you shouldn't have. Oh, I was thinking today too. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna play Wukong when it first comes out. I I think, all right, faction basis. In this time of national up uh, upheaval, people tend to organize themselves into bases, comprising those who share their pros or anti shogunite alliances. As such, you note the merchants who do business at such bases sell special items to members of their own factions. Anti shogunite bases are green, neutral, or white, and pro shogunite bases are purple. Anyways, I feel myself leaning more towards the open world Star Wars game, Star Wars Outlaws, than I do towards the Wukong game. Not to say the Wukong game is going to be bad. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be actually the opposite. It's probably going to be f absolutely dope. I just feel myself like my interest is wanting that that uh so this is a base where what am I even supposed to go right now? Uh part of this debate, but my, my my interests are leaning way more towards the Star Wars game because I have a Star Wars affection then towards the Wukong game, you know what I mean? Like I said, the Wukong game could be absolutely great, but I don't It may not look like it, but those two are fine, upstanding young men. I recommend you get to know them. Genzui's dojo is right here in Yokohama, and I have a good idea where Shinsoku is headed. Perhaps you might join them. recommend me I see his ability to connect people still surpasses my own listen I have no problem helping you out but I'll need a little something in return tell me what do you make of the state of this nation here we are with the Western powers circling us as we speak and yet the red demon speaks with America and brooks no opposition he is intent on signing a treaty, which will be a disaster for us. This is truly a critical moment for Japan. Mm. I don't know. I, I really do. I know nothing about the politics, so teach me. You may have no interest in such matters now, but in time, I guarantee you will. The time has come to instill a new start for this nation. 
That is what Master Shoin and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrade's whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. <sighs> if Sakamoto trusts you, then so will I. Our plan is to kill Harris, the American consul, and halt the negotiations. But in order to do that, we need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful if you would see fit to join us. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. Word is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. Once we attack the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. If you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. Here we go. There are many people during this troubled times who have their own agenda. On occasions, they may call on your help on your help to carry out their projects or join their cause. The choices you make as a protagonist will influence the rewards you can receive and the bonds you can develop, and they will also influence the outcome of the story. I just want to go do like whatever quest is. I, I didn't want my quests to be here we go with choices. So we got Shogun Knight quests, follow the blades. Man. See, the thing is, like, it, what it seems like is my the quests I need to do are all gonna be freaking uh, anti Shogunite quests, and that's what my main base is right now. So let's go ahead and go to this quest. We need to get us get us a quest in. And this place is that far away. I might change my outfit soon. Also, might just default it back so that when I change pieces of equipment, it just changes anyways. Because I, I do like my equipment changing around. Like this, I love. I like the fact that uh, we can transmute and it stays exactly to what you transmute to. So the way I gotta keep going all the way back and transmuting again every single time. But I also like the fact of being a little different at times. So. Side of the map. Ah, oh, so you came. The others are already in position. It seems security is tighter than we expected. Still, if we can get ahead of us, the samurai you seek is bound to appear. If we join forces, we'll all get what we want. So, what do you say? Splendid. Now, let's wait for our chance.
All right, here we go. I know that there's, I think there's one thing we've established an alliance with someone and share a bond with them, push L1 up to change the character you're controlling. There's also a mission to like not kill nobody. I'm, I'm gonna have to look at that again, but that's part of the story is just, just to, to, to go on a mission, just not kill anybody. Which is obviously a lot harder said than done. I'll have to look at the trophy. I'll have to actually look at the trophy and see what it, I didn't burn myself, to see what it actually is. But for now, we're gonna kill everybody. Where'd I, where, where'd I get shot from? Who shot me? Oh, there's a guy up there. Let me go kill these guys very quick. I want as much experience as possible while I'm here. Oh my gosh. Why's my stamina so low? What the hell is going on? Like, I haven't even been doing too much. Technically, we're we're levels above these guys. What the? There's a guy over here somewhere shooting at us. Oh, he's in here over here in the bushes. I don't know. For some reason, on on this course, it seems this this quest. I mean, I said course. This quest, it seems like my stamina is going down way quicker than I thought. This nigga was dead. What the? That was on him. All right, let's die. Really? He, he, you you moved your head right when I freaking did it. It's garbage. Dang, how are you gonna piece that man's body up when he's already dead? I mean, of course, we can't just get in there that way. All right, here we go. Let's go up here. What's in here? Booty hoo! What up, y'all? Y'all niggas hiring? Bro, shoot me at point blank distance is crazy. I was talking to my boy who's already beat this game or whatever, and he's pretty much about to 100% it or whatever. I think this game is going to be like their more realistic game when that's when you start to think about uh, Team Ninja and the, the way their games are and stuff. I think this one is supposed to be like. Mm. The thing is, I understand this dude is a level two, a level two guy. But here's my thing on that too. He, he, yeah, he's a level two guy. But this quest is level eight. I'm level fifteen. He should still die. He should have still died when I backstabbed him because I'm way over this dude's level. I, I was, I was uh, not paying attention right there, but optional foes. Oh, I'm definitely gonna beat these optional foes. But yeah, I feel like he should have, he should have died with one stab. I get what they're trying to get it like, oh well, he's a lot stronger, blase blase blase. But he's also still level eight. Yeah, he's a formidable foe, but he's a level 8 formidable foe compared to me being level 15 against him. So I should be just overlapping this dude. I'm, I'm literally almost two levels, with double the levels above him, two levels. I'm, little, I'm literally almost double the levels above him. And, and you're telling me that even with almost double the levels above him, I can't just kill him easily? Nah, that's, that's foo. I got hiccups for some reason. Sweet. I 
Nothing else in here. We do need to go back the other way because we gotta, we gotta uh, hit that other. Uh, I don't think I can break anything. Over and I know I can't jump. The way, the way these games work, I know I can't jump over that. Yeah, we have to hit this banner. What, this dude came out of nowhere. What, what are you doing here? How did you even get here? Don't rush. Take your time. So you're basically to change these to explosion one stuff, but I haven't. I don't think I, don't, I haven't unlocked that yet, and I haven't upgraded my weapon once yet. <laughs> sure thing. But I am going to. I tell you that. Just I just haven't done it yet. I want to wait till I get a good weapon first before I start Is that spending my money on doing that. But anyways, like I was saying, I feel like this game is a more like realistic game compared to uh, Neo and Wukong. And the reason I say that is because Neo and Wukong has have like have mystic monsters in it, like yokais and the uh, I can't remember what the uh, monsters are called in uh, on Wukong. Compared to this game, when it's just people, yeah, the big people are like crazy big to the point where that's not realistic, but. They don't. They have dogs, guns, arrows, bows. Yes, you have fire and a, para, a paralyzed thing and a poison thing, but that's just stuff you can put on it. You have to apply it every time. It's not something that just on your weapon that you that comes with the weapon. Like in Neo, you can put fire in your weapon and stuff like that. And I was thinking about like why they didn't do that, and it literally clicked to me that I was like, oh, I see. Like this game would be like a more realistic version of their games. The other ones are more so like mythic, uh, mystic stuff, but this one will be more so like, oh yeah, this is our, like we're going the realistic route and this is what we want to do here. Okay, the other Formula 4 is probably down here somewhere. Wait, I didn't get no key nowhere, so this door is probably still locked. When when did I get a key? And I there's no, there's no, there's, there was another Formula 4, he probably was outside and I probably just missed it. I probably just messed that all up and missed his quest. Don't lay a finger on me! It's my brother. And my blade twin. Kill them! Kill them this instant! I knew it. You're alive. I've been looking for you. So don't get in my way. I don't even have a sword. Well, I don't, I don't have a katana. I probably just not 100% in this quest because of that. This dude jumping around everywhere like that. I can't even push triangle while he's doing his thing. What is that? What weapons he using? Cause that's not a red katana. My blade twin is fucking me up, bro. And of course, he's only going for me. Enemies that can switch weapons, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we get it. This man put a bomb in my chest. I 
I am timing this or all of this wrong as hell. Just meet my blade twin. Learn that your blade twin is still alive. Oh, was he the the other formidable foe? Nah, he wasn't. So we did we did not complete the optional quest. I don't even know what this op. The, so the other dude must have been outside somewhere. He he had to be, and I probably just missed it because I just didn't see it. He had to be out here somewhere. But I stand like we we didn't we didn't go this way. We did we did walk around a little bit. Let me walk around this way some. I don't know if this dude was out here or somewhere or something, because I didn't see nobody else in the house. And we killed one formidable foe upstairs. He could have been back here somewhere, and we just didn't see him. Because we did find we found that one dude up here. So yeah, he could, he he could have easily been like on this ledge or something like that. Whatever. I think you can replay quests. My boy, I think my boy was saying that you can replay some some of these quests and stuff. And if that's the case, I'll come back and replay it and get it. Because I think you might have to do, like, uh, if you remember on Wukong, you could uh, replay quest stuff, but you had to get, like, 100% on certain on, on, on all your quests or whatever. Because it was, like, five stars, whatever it's called. Raising those banners and all that stuff. All right. Ah, you're alive and well. That is a relief. You know, it seems you really were born lucky. Not that everything went smoothly, of course. Harris got away, I understand. Did you find that samurai who came on the black ship? You and that samurai must have a complicated history. The Americans were ready for us. It's almost as if someone tipped him off. Stop that nonsense. I know how you feel, but this wild speculation helps no one. The treaty will be signed, no doubt. We must accept that. But we will not give up. The Red Demon and the Americans may be looking for you, but we will aid you. We're in the same boat now, after all. Well, until next time. I feel like some type of cutscene is about to happen. I got Drunk Boy on my team. In spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, so key, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. Play dead. You'll find people throughout this world of turmoil who harbor strong desires and ambitions. Help them out by completing the bond missions to develop their abilities. Completing a string of bond missions for certain characters can earn you a special equipment play dead i got a gesture boom mission complete plot to assassinate harris 
All done. Anti Shogun Knight got up. Gonzo got up. Your boys got up. Nasuki Iwi got up. Cross leg gesture. Got a bunch of stuff. And we learned that our brother is still alive. And we just got a bayonet as a weapon for a gun. And we just got a new freaking combat style technique probably with the sword. Because we got freaking Koko Katsuyu. We got a bunch of stuff in this thing. Up oh, and I leveled up. Level 16 now. I don't know why my, my dude's crouching with them knees. The mega knees ain't working. It ain't crazy, but yeah, we found our brother and stuff now, and I wonder what's gonna happen on the next thing. Like, what, 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 what's in store for us now that we know our brother, and we had to fight against him, and that dude was mad strong for no reason. But this ain't about to get good on us, ain't it? Can't wait for it. <laughs>